My name is Max Howold, and I'm a sophomore electrical engineering student. My project for Professor Wolf's scientific photography class was predictive video. My goal was to predict and measure the parameters of motion of various objects whose motion was simple and well-behaved enough to be modeled and predicted. I collected high-speed video footage of bouncing ping pong balls and spinning quarters using an edgertronic high-speed camera at frame rates ranging from 200 to 500 frames per second. Using various image processing and object detection functions in MATLAB, parameters of the motion of the objects in these videos were detected and predicted. This data was then overlaid on the original footage to create a visual display of these predictions and measurements. In this video, you see a ping pong ball bouncing. The green path shows the ball's exact location. For the first few seconds, the ball's position is simply recorded and displayed. When the blue bar appears, it indicates the predicted height of the ball. The prediction is based only on the first few seconds of video. Over time, the blue bar gets wider as the uncertainty in the prediction grows. The center of the ball stays within the bar for several bounces, but eventually the prediction breaks down. This happens for several reasons. Although it's difficult to see and detect in the video, the ping pong ball is actually spinning slightly. When the ball is bouncing relatively high, the effect of this rotation is negligible. But with much smaller bounces, the spin of the ball can have a much larger impact on the speed and direction of the ball at each bounce. Here's a plot from MATLAB that shows how the predicted path is generated. The green path is the exact tracked height of the ball over time. The red curve is the function that represents the total energy of the ball. The ball is modeled as losing kinetic energy on each bounce proportional to its current kinetic energy. This leads to an exponential decay model for energy. Each bounce is a parabolic path with a vertex lying somewhere on the energy curve. Using the fact that the next parabola intersects with the previous one at the floor, the vertex of each parabola can be found one after the other using only the previously predicted parabola and the predicted energy function. The blue curves here represent the predicted path. The prediction is very accurate for up to about eight bounces when it begins to deviate as the rotation and small changes in direction of the ball have a larger effect. Separately, a spinning quarter was filmed with the goal of modeling how the coin will land. The main method used to detect the coin's motion was to detect the ellipse that represented the edge of the coin in each frame. First, the video was cropped and converted to a grayscale image. Then, an image detection algorithm was applied to each frame, producing this video. Next, an ellipse detection algorithm was applied to each frame. It takes five parameters to fully describe an ellipse. The x and y coordinates of its center, the length of its major axis, the length of the minor axis, and the rotation angle, or tilt. The algorithms available use essentially a brute force approach to find the most defined ellipse in each frame and return these parameters. To minimize the error, the spinning coin was recorded against a simple background with as few other edges and features as possible. The parameters of the detected ellipse were smoothed and overlaid on the original video to show how the location and rotation of the coin can be tracked. These parameters were then used to calculate a vector normal to the surface of the coin. One of the biggest challenges of this part of the project was taking the raw data from the ellipse detection algorithm and filtering and fine-tuning it enough to produce a smooth video and realistic-looking normal vector. In conclusion, I was able to measure and model the motion of both the spinning coin and the bouncing ping-pong ball with relatively good accuracy under the right conditions and create the videos you have seen. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the end-of-the-year show.